The whole point of being a fruitful investor is to relax and let the business work for you. If you follow the system, you can actually relax. Most investors don't. They keep hustling for 20, 30, 40 years. They're 62 years old and they still gotta hustle. Why? They didn't follow the damn fruitful steps, man. They didn't do it. My name is Matt Pichet, AKA the Fruitful Investor. I grew up in a middle-class family and all I've ever wanted was freedom. By the age of 30, I became a self-made multi-millionaire, all from real estate investing. Follow me on my journey to travel the world when I want, where I want, while continuing to build a killer real estate business. Let's get it. What's up fruitful investors? In this video, I'm gonna talk about what rental property, which type of rental property should you buy first? Now, a little bit about me and why you should listen to me. I was a millionaire by the age of 28, a multi-millionaire net worth by the age of 30, and a cash millionaire by the age of 31. So I know a thing or two about real estate. And there's, listen, there's a thousand and one ways on how to invest in real estate, which type of properties you should buy. I'm just gonna tell you kind of my story and my strategy of how I got started and what I recommend for you as a new real estate investor. So number one, we wanna start easy. So don't be buying 12 unit buildings on your first property. I mean, you can, some people do it, but usually you wanna start a little easier. So for me, what that means is usually single family. So single family homes, why? It's easy and you can understand it. You probably live in a single family home, right? So you understand how it works. You understand there's a kitchen, there's a toilet, there's a sink, etc. You're living in one. You, you already know kind of how it works and what looks nice, what doesn't look nice. So it's easy for you to comprehend what it means to buy a single family property, like a townhouse, a semi-detached, a detached home, whatever, a residential home and rent it out to a family. They pay you rent, etc. You get it. You understand it. So it's much easier for you to get into it and wrap your mind about how to get started. Once you start easy and you, you, you know, you're, you've decided to invest in a single family property, what you want to do, number two, is focus on quality areas. So like the neighborhood specifically, um, you wanna focus on being like at least five to 10 minutes away from a grocery store, you know, a, a library, a baseball diamond, things like that. P things that will attract people to wanna live in that area, museums, whatever. Nice, quiet neighborhood. You know, those are the things that people wanna live in. And when you buy properties in those areas, they go up in value. So why? They're desirable. People wanna live in nice areas, nice mature trees, you get it. You wanna make it look pretty and buy properties in pretty areas. When you find a good area to invest in a good neighborhood that's got it going on, got all those things I mentioned, all those amenities, you wanna focus on quality properties. So that means, you know, a nice two-story townhome. You know, we're not buying shacks, you know, 600 square foot shacks. The house is kind of leaning this way. We want to buy quality properties. Do people want to live here? Yes, I understand the nice little shack that's you know kind of tilted a bit. Don't worry, it's just got floors a little bit like this, no big deal. Yeah, people don't want to live in those. They feel creepy, they feel scared, they don't feel safe, okay? Number one, with tenants, they want to feel safe. Why? They're raising kids, they got their pets and their loved ones in the house, right? They want to have a good family dynamic. They don't want some shitty ass house falling over. So quality properties, good layouts, you know, those kind of things. Open concept-ish, hopefully if you're, if you're buying newer homes or a little more open, open concept, things like that. You wanna buy quality properties. So yes, I know these things cost a little more money as they should, pay the money. Again, in my last video I was talking about and pretty much all my videos, if you wanna buy good quality rental properties, you gotta pay and sometimes, I know sometimes, you gotta pay market value. Oh no, I didn't say it. Yes, I did. You gotta pay market value. I pay market value all the time on almost every single rental property that I buy that checks off a good quality area. It's a good property that people are going to want to live in. I pay market value all the time. I don't care. Why? Because I know I'm going to keep it for at least three to five years. I'm going to keep it long term. It will almost 100% go up in value. Why? It's in a good area, good city, good jobs. I've done all the research. I've done all the homework on these two things. Now it's just about banging out the houses and getting them in my name. Getting them, I want them. I don't want anybody else to buy them. Oh, but Matt, I don't pay market value. I listen to some guy on YouTube say you gotta buy 70 cents on the dollar. Yeah, you ain't gonna buy anything then, okay? Check out the last video I talked about where I made 250K on one deal. Perfect scenario, I bought it back 
in 2010. People thought I was crazy. I, I was doing my strategy back in 2010 when it wasn't even a seller's market or a buyer's market. It was just like a neutral market. I was buying deals. I was scooping them all up at market value. People thought I was insane. 10 years later, I just sold it. I made 250K on one deal in my pocket. Who's dumb now? You gotta understand the long-term trends, right? You gotta understand the business model. Real estate with rental properties is a long-term business. Don't be playing the short game in the rental market game. That doesn't make any sense. Rental properties are supposed to be a long-term game. Okay, so take your time, pay the money, grab the good properties, let's go, okay? So quality properties. Next up, we wanna renovate them. Went on a little tangent there, sorry guys, but I'm super passionate about this. Okay, so we wanna rental them better than all the other rentals on the market. My rental properties, you guys have seen the videos, they look sick. They crush every other normal landlord in my town. Can't even touch us. Our properties look sick. Tenants would way rather live in my property than theirs. Even if we're priced at the same price, or if I'm priced even more, which I always am, my, my rents are always way higher. I'm still getting tenants in like a week or two when they're being marketed on the market. Easy. Okay, so you wanna buy good properties in good areas. Buy quality types of properties that people wanna live in, open concepts, you know, big, etc. And then once we get them, we want to renovate them better than every other landlord. Oh, but Matt, I got this sweet deal at Home Depot with the extra flooring, you know, the, the, the side flooring that they just have in the back for like a dollar a square foot. I'm going to buy that. No, man. Again, pay the money. It doesn't cost that much, by the way, to get quality materials, you know, plug, get the rental course below, and you can make all your houses look just like mine. You can get all my products, where I buy them, how to buy them, what they look like, get all of that below in the renovate like fruitful course. Anyway, that's how we renovate them better. We get the quality tenants, they pay the higher rent. Everything's good. Step five, relax. Yeah, the whole point of being a fruitful investor is to relax and let the business work for you. If you follow the system, you can actually relax. Most investors don't. They keep hustling for 20, 30, 40 years. They're 62 years old and they still got to hustle. Why? They didn't follow the damn fruitful steps, man. They didn't do it. <laughs> easy, start off easy. Don't go too big at the beginning. Buy quality, buying quality areas, okay? Buy quality properties that people want to live in, renovate them better than every other rental on the market. Step five, relax, let those checks come through. Guys, I have so many properties in my town, I don't even know where they are. I'm driving down the street, going for grocery shopping. I'm like, oh yeah, we own a couple over there. Keep driving, oh yeah, I forgot we own a couple over there. I don't even know about them because they're autopilot, they're easy, the tenants pay every single month. Why? They have jobs, why? I'm investing in a quality area that has what? Jobs. It's the formula, it's the fruitful formula. Keep it going. Anyway guys, if you like this video, if you learned anything, smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button so we can see more of each other. Man, I'm losing my touch on the end here. I'll see you in the next video.